keep up with the fast world of data science. Now buckle up as we leap inside the black box. Almost everybody shops at Amazon. And if you shop at Amazon, you have seen some of their product reviews. Has it bothered you that there are thousands of people who care enough to review the most vanilla of products, like a wall charger or like a notepad? For example, this is the most popular wall charger on Amazon and over 5,000 people have reviewed it. And this is the most generic white notepad you can find. Its design hasn't changed for decades. And yet 1,000 people care enough to review it. The natural question is, what proportion of these reviews is fake? According to Zachary Crockett, a reporter for The Hustle, over half of the headphone reviews on Amazon are fake reviews. This is the fake review economy. You might think that you can trust those reviews that are labeled verified purchases. That's one way Amazon fights the fake reviewers. Sadly, those can be faked too. The customer first buys the product on Amazon and then the seller reimburses the product cost after the five-star review has been posted and pays a bonus on top of that. In this way, the review shows up as a verified purchase even though it is as fake as the next fake review. It's not just the sellers who love fake reviews. Platforms are tacitly encouraging them too because platforms gain their power by the total number of reviews that you can find on the website. Many platforms reward users for posting more reviews. In this digital age, we have amassed huge amounts of data, but also huge amounts of fake data that is polluting what we're trying to measure. When I read Amazon reviews, I only focus on the two stars and three stars reviews because I think that they are less likely to be fake. If you like this video, please help us build our channel by sharing it and by hitting that subscribe button. See you next time inside the black box. Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.